Okay. Totally epic, nasty hair right now. Alright. So, this is going to be my... Uh, I am 27 weeks today. So, this is going to be like a just a pregnancy update then. 27 weeks today. Not much. Uh... If you hear a, like a fan sound, that's my air conditioner. It's hot. Um, um, oh, this is Ham. There you go. That is Ham. He has a cute little itty bitty nose. And, uh, yep, he'll be here. It's supposed to be here September 7th, but, like my mom said, more than likely won't. And then here's others. This is a really good one. Then it's just him and I. And then, da da da, did you reveal? <laughs> Uh, I, he would not show anything else in the last ultrasound. I'm going to do something with my hair so it doesn't look so bad. Uh, in the last ultrasound, he did not, like, want to show his face or anything like that. So, um, we have to go back on the 11th here really soon. It's in here for that. Um, for the secondary ultrasound pictures to get some measurements of the little fart because they couldn't get the skull, his spine, and some organs. So they're going to do that again, hopefully, because he was like really down into the pelvic area, and that's not really good for measurements. They had me practice. The, uh, the table like this normally, but then they put my head down here, my butt up here, kind of kind of like an inversion table, but that's how they did that to see if it might slide down some, and no, he, he didn't move, and then they're like, well, we'll give you like a 10, 15, 20 minutes, and that was to move around, I did squats, and leg movements and just trying to get the little part to move around elsewhere and all I did was wore myself out because he did not move. I feel him every day. He's kicking, hiccuping, or shifting one day or another. He mostly kicks and he's got some strong kicks now and I'm afraid for the fact that I'm not even at my last month when he's going to be at his strongest. And uh, I have dealt with horrible headaches, so I had to go on a magnesium tablet um, regimen, which I will stay on after my pregnancy, too, they said. So I take my prenatals, which is also. Well, this is Spring Valley. This is Nature Made. But either way, they're both green, yellow caps. I take those, and I take my algae medicine every day. And then I take an occasional Tylenol when I feel like it. But I have to take my... I take... You told me to take about four of these, and I only take one. The other day I took two, but I was feeling pretty gnarly. And then, other than that, um, with this heat, I've had some vaginal discomfort with that, but that's, my mom said that is, that could sometimes be, she, when she had my first, her, uh, when my mom had her first kid, my older brother, and, uh, she said she got a yeast infection, and I got a yeast infection like a week and a half 
about two weeks ago actually. And that sealed up fine, perfectly fine. So I did the seven day treatment like my doctor suggested and it was nice. After all that, I felt much better. Symptoms wise, all I've been dealing with is sleepiness. Like I just want to sleep all the time. You can see my bed back right back there. Bedroom. There's the crib too, which you'll see in the second video because I'm going to be doing a haul, a small haul. Because in the other spare bedroom, I have a shit ton more stuff, and I don't really want to drag all drag all that back out here. After I organized it all and put it in that little room, nice and neatly. But I'll probably do a another video when. I get moved to the new house in about three weeks, and uh, sometimes after that I'll do a video for uh, his room, because I'm going to be painting his room and setting things up. Um, but yes, I am 27 weeks. I'm doing good that way. Uh, perfect blood pressure, as always. Uh, I've always had great blood pressure, and I great pressure in my blood pressure and the doctors say that I have beautiful blood pressure and I'm so happy about that still um, other than that with my allergies I've had to kinda other than like my normal medicine once in a great while I use my um, my butyrol nebulizer treatment here. This is part of the nebulizer, the rest of the stuff's in there. I keep this separate from the other stuff because I have to wash this. It's washed, I just, it's dried, washed and dried, and I just put together and I just haven't put it back in the bag. But uh, other than that, yep. I had a hard time trying to find a baby diaper, yeah, baby diaper. <sighs> diaper bag. And I finally found a diaper bag at a yard sale. It's not an actual diaper bag per se, but I'm going to use it as a diaper bag. And it's gender neutral too, so future hubby can deal with carrying the massive load of his stuff and my stuff. But I am going to show you the belly. I don't really want to show you the belly because I got. When I was younger, I was chubby, then I lost a lot of weight, and then I, you know, got that excess skin. I call it a Dunlap. So I got a Dunlap. It's not popped yet, even being 27 weeks. I really hope maybe by the last month I will... Get that perfect round belly, even though I don't know that's going to happen because he's being difficult already. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to show you this and then I'm going to stop this video, grab a couple of more items. Well, I'm going to upload this video, uh, post it to the Swamp Family. Hi, Swamp Family. We're going to say that in the first part and then. I'm going to grab a couple more little items and then get started on the little haul, baby haul. So yeah, this is, uh, let me scoot back a little. You can't really see anything in the front. I have gained a lot, some more weight there because I had more defined curves, but then I turned to the side. Yeah. Uh, this is 27 weeks, and a couple more hours be 27 weeks in one day. Booyah! But this is Hunter Wolfgang. That's his name. And uh, yep. So that that's it. And thank you for watching it. Subscribe. If you have questions, just put them down in the little thing and just comment away. And I'm going to start the little haul video next after 
I get done here. So, kills.